Okay. Uh, firstly, thank you all for taking the time to join us uh, and much. sharing what uh, sounds like a very interesting project. Um, I think just before we get stuck into what it is, um, if we could just do a brief introduction, so if people don't know who you are, um, what it is you do, and uh, then we can get into what exactly we're going to be doing together. Maybe we start with, uh, with, with uh, Oscar Kuda. Hi, what's up? Uh, yeah, it's the first time that I try to bring um, uh, my iconography from my paintings to the tenth floor and to do a, a real experience mixed with the row and Paco, and I am very happy to do that. Uh, Diego, if you could just uh, inform, you know, what it is you do, uh, your, your, your company, your role, and uh, how you got to this position. Hi there, um, I'm Diego Carnicero, I'm the creative director at Inca Movement. Uh, we do artist man management, artist pl plastic artists uh, from the uh, street art scene. We, we work with Okuda for 15 years now, and we develop uh, art projects globally. I'm sure most of the people in the room know who Paco is, but uh, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Paco Suna. I'm the DJ who is going to put music to this huge project and beautiful project. And Juan? Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Juan, uh, founder of uh, Row. I want to say first thank you to IMS, Ben, and obviously you, to give us the opportunity to present this new project. Um, and that's it. That's okay. Well, I mean, uh, everyone's probably dying to know what is this project, El Row Art? Uh, Diego, maybe you can uh, give us a brief outline of what it is, and then we can try and dissect it a bit further. Well, uh, yeah, El Row Art is a new experience. It's a joint venture with, with uh, El Row and an income movement, and somehow it's where, where music and entertainment meets art experience. We are trying to mix these two disciplines into one whole immersive experience, where music, art, and the audience are just the key ingredients for what we're creating. Um, and when you say art, I mean, we're talking a visual art, so a medium that you see, obviously, audio, but Al Row is very much focused on uh, audience experience. It's a party. Sure. Uh, is that the same mindset and ethos that you intend to put together? Sure, but uh, taken to the next level. So as you might know, uh, probably, or you already know about uh, a raw brand, uh, we created the brand nine years ago, and it's been an, an, an amazing journey. This year, we're going to be doing 170 shows in 35 countries, in more than 90 cities. And as you know, it's an ex immersive experience where we mix like decoration, props, uh, effects, uh, amazing music. Uh, and it's more, more than that, it's an experience. Um, said, said so, uh, two years ago, uh, we wanted to always think about the wow, what's next, uh, how we can improve it. And we have seen in the industry and in some other festivals that art is, is getting more and more important. And we thought this was an amazing opportunity to, to take it uh, to the next level. I mean, I suppose in a way you're, what you're proposing is a bit different. Uh, a lot of art is delivered in a single medium and it's about telling a story or about showcasing something. But in this case, being a collaborative uh, effect, are you looking to do something that is more about entertaining? Well, um, sure. The thing is that, yeah, as, you, as you probably know, uh, we do everything ourselves. We have got a massive warehouse in Barcelona where we already have amazing artists uh, creating our themes and decorations. But in this case, it was the first time we are bringing uh, a contemporary artist uh, worldwide in order to do something, something special. Uh, in this case, uh, raw art is a full concept, and we are going to be doing, developing this new project with, um, with artists uh, such as Kuda, such as Paco, in order to enhance uh, the experience. The uh, let me ask you, Paco, I mean, where do you start with a project like this? Is it first an idea that you get from, from, from El Row? Is it a beat? Is it something that you see? I mean, it, it seems... Uh, it, difficult collaboration to put together when you're talking about different means. How does the process start? Well, in reality, everything starts between, between a friend we have in common, um, Blas. He always uh, was telling me, you have to do always something with Okuda, and same thing in Okuda to, about me. And I met Okuda in a few festivals and around Spain and a few parties, and uh, I think he, 
his concept he's painted are really beautiful. Are, are something that I like it it's because I never can work with something that I don't like it. And I thought that the idea to create the music for his painted only have one space in the wall. For me, there is a row. This is one place in the, in the wall where you can develop your ideas and be creative and crazy is a row. So the relation that I have with a row, we have uh, some meetings and we are here now. <laughs> and, and Okuda, do you find it challenging having to collaborate with different mediums? I mean, I would assume that your creativity is challenged by having to consider a different form of art or medium altogether. Yeah, uh, normally I need to do something different, different techniques, different mediums. And I had an idea to do something with electronic music because I, I love it. And I think that's the moment and that's the best partner to do it. Uh, Diego, you were telling me that this is very much a concept based around uh, day and night. It's, it's not purely a, a, an event which is available tonight. Also, you see the juxtaposition of, you know, Paco is, is, likes to wear black. You've got Okuda with the bright colors. I mean, there's a lot of, of variables and, and, and juxtaposition. Is this something that has been difficult to collate together? Well, we think that the, the audiences, both in electronic music and contemporary art, can, can mix in both day and night. I mean, uh, the raw art is not only taking uh, art to a night party with electronic music, but is to making some other events where people can enjoy during daylight. Uh, we will make exhibitions with, with uh, DJs invited by Paco. Uh, we will make panels. We will, we will invite people in, in all the cities that we will visit to kind of celebrate with us that we can merge these two disciplines to enjoy it. Because at the end of the day, we want to enjoy it and share that enjoyment. And do you see in the future, Juan, maybe uh, the opportunity to incorporate other forms of art and creativity, albeit fashion or culinary or... Sure, yeah, we're already thinking about that. Uh, obviously, this is the first, uh, the first project we do, we do together. By the way, I want to say, I want to I wanna thank Desigual because they believed in this project from, from minute one and I have to say that this, uh, without, without them, this first, this first project wouldn't, wouldn't be possible. Uh, I think the beauty of this project is joining forces. At the end, we do our stuff, we have been doing everything ourselves. Uh, we are more than 100 uh, people uh, building, building sets, but in this case, it's amazing to, to have Okuda with his team also sitting together with Paco and combining forces and thinking about how we can, how we can enhance a row and how we can mix music, color, entertainment, experience. So I think it's going to be a quite, a, quite a beautiful journey together, but, uh, but yes. And do you have any kind of brief that you give them, or is it a free range, let their creativity flow? Yeah, uh, the, the, for us, as, as, as you know, uh, it's all about having fun. This is, this is what a row is about and what life is about. Uh, but in this case, I don't want to put uh, barriers. We were sitting together in an open table and we were discussing, brainstorming. And, and to be fair, it's been, like, it's been really easy working with them so far. Now we have to start producing and doing everything together, but so far, so good. It sounds very exciting. I mean, do you have a, a time scale or an indication where and when you intend to launch this project? Sure. Yeah, this is the this is the kickoff. Uh, obviously, really, really soon, we're going to launch the first project together with with Paco and, and Okuda. I guess in the next 15, 20 days, you will know more about it. Uh, the, the first show uh, will happen in Ibiza. That's that's the reason we are going to present it here. And then we will pick another 15, 20 cities, uh, art cities worldwide, in order to develop uh, the show altogether. Um, and is this a project where you look to incorporate other artists further down the line, or um, are you keeping the team as it is at the moment? Sure, no, this is the first collaboration, as I said. The Raw Art is a full uh, entity that we created with Inca Movement, uh, an amazing uh, company from, from Madrid. Uh, they work with many, many other artists. Uh, and we are going to working, be working with them. We are going to be inviting other artists from all over the world in order to keep taking this to the next level. Um, uh, uh, Paco, we, when you look at the creative process in, involved in, in, in doing something like this, um, do you find that collaborating with different medium actually challenges you more and helps produce a further level of creativity? Absolutely, because uh, as you said before, 
our concepts are very different, <laughs> very far. I'm totally black, it's full of colors. Uh, and I create a, a music because uh, we're going to create a few tracks, especially for the show. Uh, I have to be close to his idea, and as he was close to my ideas when uh, he is going to represent the painters. So it's a challenge because, you know, it's my music, even if I'm always a guy who likes to party, <laughs> and, but it's more dark. And the concept of the row is full of light and happiness. So it's a challenge to create something to have happy him and to have happy El row and of course to have happy me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sure Kuda would agree that um, when your creativity is challenged by collaboration, you are compelled to push yourself further. And, um, I, I saw, Diego, that uh, one of the projects your company had was a mobile, uh, mobile truck art campaign. Is that a philosophy or something that you intend to incorporate with El Row Art? Well, that, that's a project that we did that, again, was like to kind of find new spaces to, to, for people to meet art. And we developed this project where massive trucks were moving around Spain and Europe, and those trucks were painted by a contemporary artists. That's kind of the same philosophy. We want to take art to the unexpected, to where it's never been and where people wouldn't expect and on that form. That that's something that we, we may integrate in the project as well. Um, quite very much part of the Al Rowe philosophy and the success is that concept of having fun and immersive experience. You go to an Al Rowe party, it's not just the music and the, what you see, so it's what you How about you? Yeah. Um, and is that a similar concept that you intend to employ with, with this, where it's sure, the yeah, canvas is the other people? Sure, that's, that's always uh, number one. Uh, they are the bosses, they are the ones that come to the shows and make us big. So we always think that they are priority number one. Obviously, we are the ones that have to adapt to them, and we have to deliver a great show. Uh, but yeah, like, like particip participatory is the is number one, number one rule in, in other row. Um, uh, good. I mean, you have painted, uh, exhibited all over the world, um, very often with some strong social messages. I'll be they good or bad. Do you think that you have a responsibility to employ that same? social message that you employ in some of your other stuff? Or is this purely a concept about having fun and letting the audience enjoy the art? Um, yeah, the idea is the people having fun, but uh, the most important thing is like the people uh, be part of the artwork, you know? Um, yeah, that's the thing. Um, Juan, you were saying it's a project you intend to take to different places. Uh, do you feel it's necessary or do you intend to incorporate local artists as well in, in, in this project when you go to... Different well, El, El Row is about traveling. We like to take the brand and the concepts to every single big city worldwide. In this case, uh, obviously, we always try to, to get local artists. Uh, before, it was only DJs, local, local DJs that were playing for us every time we were doing shows worldwide. But now, obviously, when we do a Row Art, uh, we are going to be inviting local artists, uh, real, <laughs> not musicians, artists, uh, in order to be part of, of the concept. Sometimes we will do showcases before the show, sometimes we will do expositions, some, uh, sometimes we will do after parties. So it's going to be more than just one event in one big city. Um, and obviously, uh, Alro have a huge team when it comes to manufacture and production. Uh, will you be taking these ideas and the concepts created by your artists and then implementing them right down to the outfits that they wear, the production, your stage design? Sure, I think it's a combination of forces. In this case, he has got an amazing team as well of, I think, 15 people. Uh, in the creative department, we are more than 10. And then when it, co when it comes about the warehouse, there is 60 people producing stuff. So at the end, it's like we are like sitting together and deciding who is doing what, how do we do it. He's obviously he's the one leading this project, in this case, for the first time. Um, and as I said, uh, we are really excited because he, he brings color to our show, we're already colorful, so I think it's gonna be a really interesting uh, project and a step forward uh, for the brand moving forward. Um, and I suppose um, with the juxtaposition of uh, light and color and, 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 you know, do you see yourself, Paco, doing music or creating a soundtrack outside of what you usually renowned for? I mean, uh, or Okuda, do you see yourself doing something outside of your general style of, 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 of art? 
Yeah, of course. That's the idea to do something new and maybe to create something uh, with music with him. You know. Yeah, That's absolutely. We we have some talks before, so giving some inputs about what uh, the idea of how can sounds his this project, no? And and yeah, it's a challenge for me. It's totally different than what I did before. Uh, but again. Life is about creativity, so this is a big challenge, and that's what makes, in me, in my case, especially excited. Yeah, I mean, I would see it as a wonderful opportunity. You all have successful careers in your different spheres, but this is a unique opportunity to do something collaborative and creative, uh, and you have a, already have an existing audience that, that you can share it to. Do you think that there's room for this kind of concept to be rolled out into a digital media or some form of uh, sharing on a global scale? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah. That's the idea. We thought about that. We are completely open to explore all types of, of, of ideas. Yeah, the idea is to build a community around this concept, so uh, how, to, how we reach people, uh, the digital is part of us now, so, so that's part of the plan, to get people... The, the beauty about, the, about this specific concept is that we are not just going to be reaching the, the traditional music audience, we are going to get bigger and we are going to be talking as well to the art audience, which is quite interesting for our industry and the fact of mixing music, art and, and experience uh, and traveling and taking it uh, all over the world, I think is going to be quite unique and, and special. Sure. Uh, and you'll also have the facility for people or followers in that community to suggest, present their art uh, in a collaborative way as well? Yeah, sure. Like, this is not just going to be a touring thing. It's going to be, we are going to be doing things at our own festivals. We are going to be doing thing, permanent things in some cities. So we're going to be doing uh, a bunch of, of new ideas. Yes, as I, as I said, participation is key on this. The audience is part of the, of the deal. So uh, any channel how they can participate is open, is open for the project. Um, when we were talking earlier, you mentioned something about FIAS in, in Valencia. Maybe some people don't know what it is. If you just explain what FIAS is and yeah. how it's going to relate to this project. Yeah, well, at Inca Movement, we try to push a little bit the boundaries on where uh, people can find art, as I said before with the other project, The Unexpected. We managed to, to uh, change the game in FIAS. FIAS is this... Uh, traditional celebration that happens in Spain is uh, where they make sculptures in the streets and then they burn it at the end of the week of the celebration. And for ages it's always been like artisans making these sculptures, but we managed two years ago to include Okuda to design the main falla. And it was a risk at the beginning because it's a very deep thing that they have in Valencia, but it was a complete success. We take new contemporary art to that popular celebration and, and people loved it. And since then, Last year, another uh, artist from the street art scene did the, the main falla, and this year, someone else is going to do it. So that's a bit of the, the, the idea we, we seek with our projects, just to change a little bit things and get people to meet to contemporary art in different, different scenarios. Um, and I assume, are you limiting yourself to urban art or to contemporary art or to house music or you know any genres of music is it a completely blank canvas or are there certain constraints to sonically for example are we talking house music or any genre of music can can do it's freedom beautiful it's freedom <laughs> the only the only thing about the role is that it needs to be uplifting and, and fun that's the only rule we have got and obviously an immersive experience but after that, like anything, we are anything, open to any ideas. Uh, sounds like a fantastic project. I mean, I, I think that you have a little video which uh, we can show without giving away too much yeah, of what's happening. I think it's happening. 40, 40 seconds uh, introductory video. Okay, uh, if you guys have it there, we can run the video. We'll have a quick look.
That's great. Exciting stuff. Nice and bright. Right Thank up you. my Strasse. Colorful. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, j just to ask a slightly more provocative question, I mean, do you ever feel a responsibility or, or a sense of um, commercialization versus creativity? I mean, obviously, you have a successful brand and lots of creative people. With a project like this, do you feel a need to adapt for commercial purposes? I mean, uh, is financing an issue or sponsorship? Is this something you feel strongly against? Or are you open to adapt a project so that it becomes commercially viable as well? Not really. Uh, as I was saying before, like for instance, the Seawall, they supported us uh, from minute one. And they didn't even saw the videos, they didn't see anything. We had a meeting, we explained them what we tried to do, and they said yes from minute one. And obviously, when you get a, a partnership that really supports the idea and, and, and makes you think big, that obviously helps. It's more than welcome. At the end, we always say, I don't, I don't want to call them sponsors. I want to I wanna call them brand partners. Because at the end, they, they support your ideas. We activate together with them. We do uh, things that without them we couldn't, wouldn't be possible. So I think they are a key element uh, in this project, I would say. Uh, and I'm sure for Paco and Okuda, a similar feeling. I mean, I don't think anyone will ever tell you to put a jingle into a project. Uh, so that creativity in a project like this, because it's so collaborative, th that has to be purely about your creativity, correct? Exactly. It's, uh, this is the purpose, to, do, to create something new, something fresh, and something to impress a little bit to the audience, so that it comes to a row, to the fans of Okuda and my followers, of course. Perfect. I mean, I just see it as a wonderful canvas because El Roy has always been about, as you said, the people are the color of the night uh, and to experience a collaborative art in, in an environment like this is new. And as we said earlier, novelty is, is the most creative thing we can do in a place like this. So um, good luck with the project. Maybe if anybody has a few questions or anything they'd like to direct to any of the people on the panel. Any questions? Going once? Yes? No? Don't be shy. Everything is clear. Yeah, I mean, I think the... Yes, we have a question over there. Hi, my name is Agostino Carollo, and I run a label and an event company in Italy called Everness. I wanted to know, what is the secret behind the success of El Ro? I, I guess... Uh, it's not an easy question. I guess bringing, bringing, bringing happiness um, to every single country. Uh, at the end, we are not trying to culturize anyone. We are trying to make them be part of the show. And I think that's, that's been the main, the main secret of the brand. We have been working really hard, I would say, the last, especially the last three, four years in order to be global. Uh, we have achieved that, I would say, two years ago when we started doing uh, more than 140 shows in the five continents. And it's amazing to see different cultures combining and just like showing them the, what, what we do and see the product working in, in China, in Tokyo, in Sydney, in South America, in New York, in Vegas, now that we have a residency. So, it's, I would say the secret is, is just to think about the customer experience and deliver, deliver an experience for them. They have to be the center of attention. Obviously, uh, having the best DJs uh, and the, most, the top DJs uh, worldwide is key. But we have, we, I think, for many years, uh, we forgot a little bit about the, the customer experience. And I, probably this is the, the key. But I, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, any more questions? Yes, one over here. Hi, my name is Brad. Um, I'm an owner of a clothing brand, Back to Back. Um, I just wanted to ask, in terms of collaboration, how do you go about kind of finding that person that fits that bill? You mean you? in terms of DJ? Uh, Music? Or? And artist and DJ and... Oof. Um, to be honest, we are quite open. Uh, we, we, we are really open. We are a lot of people in the, in, the, in the company. We have got an amazing creative department. We have got a really good music uh, director. So 
basically what we like to do is be open. We talk to a, to a lot of people. In this case, I am good friends with Paco, and I wanted to start this project with him because he started the role with me. Mm -hmm. He believed in the brand uh, before anyone, when, when there was 300 people in the club, and I will never forget that. So in this case, it's because I know him. Uh, Okuda, I knew friends of him uh, from, from Madrid. So in this case, it's being a group of friends uh, joining forces to do something special. But I have to say right now, we are going to put a new projects together with music and, and, and artists that we don't even know. We are starting uh, to work together now in order to produce things for the next two, three years. Uh, that's it. If you, have, if you have got ideas, more than, more than happy to talk to you as well. We are quite open, really down to earth, and we love doing collaborations with people that, people that love the industry. Cool. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, guys, I just want to thank you. I mean, I think uh, beyond that, it's a wonderful expression of, you know, the state of Spanish contemporary art. You know, it all come together from different parts of the country. Uh, and uh, the success you've had on a global scale is a testament to that creativity. Uh, wish you the best of luck with the project. I'm sure everyone is waiting to find out more and when we can get stuck in. Um, thank you all very much. Thank you so much for attending. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.